show you how to make cheese and corn samosas. I've been making samosas for the past 40 years, been taught by my great sister. I've got corn, cut frozen corn, which I've thawed, chopped two medium onions, a handful of mint, one small chili, which is optional, then I've got dried thyme, and I've got cheese. I've got a little bit of butter in a pan, I'm going to throw in my onions. I'm going to fry them so they nice and I'm going to add my chili. Add in some thyme, say about half a teaspoon. Give it a nice stir. Add in my finely chopped mint, fresh mint. Just need to add a little bit of water so that the corn can steam in it. I'd say about half a cup of water and let it leave it to cook. Moments later. Now that my corn is cold, I'm going to add my cheese. Because if you add cheese when the corn is hot, it's going to melt. The cheese should be melt. If only when you fry it, it will melt. I'm going to give it a nice mix of the corn and the cheese. It's nicely mixed together. If you like extra cheese, you can put in extra cheese. And this is the samosa pastry. You can buy it at any supermarket. And then I've also mixed flour and water. Just flour and water into a paste which I'm going to use to sip the samosa. It mustn't be too runny, it won't stick. We have to remove the pastry one by one so that it's easier for you to work. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to fold samosa. You take the skin, go from left to right, fold it there neatly, put your finger here, and fold it again. The reason I said put your finger there is so that you don't have holes where the filling can come out. This is how it is. One tablespoon of filling. Go right, lift, flour to stick. I have my hot, hot oil here, nothing be too hot. More moments later. As you can see how easy it is, it's just fine ingredients, your corn, your onions, your mint, your thyme and your chili which is optional. It's easy. I'm sure you can do it. 